Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone is always trying to grab don't lose I'm back with another YouTube video. And today, y'all guys probably already noticed, but I got my nose pierced. And sadly, I did not record because I was actually scared, but it wasn't that bad. It didn't hurt. It just felt like a very pinch. It felt like when I got my ears pierced, that's what it really felt like. I was like, really? I am scared for this for nothing. But before I talk about my experience of how I, how my nose piercing, make sure you guys give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1K subscribers, even though I've been lacking on you guys a little bit. Um, yeah, it is February 15th, actually, but you guys will be seeing this probably on the 26th, 27th, probably next month, <laughs> to be honest with you. But but y'all, um, my experience was very scary at first. So how it was processed? Um, I live somewhere. I'm not gonna tell y'all where I live, but I live somewhere where it's actually illegal for you guys to get your nose pierced at a certain age. <laughs> You have to be 18 in the state of where I live to be, to get your nose piercing. So we had to drive. Okay, I'm skipping too much. I'm skipping way too much. We were calling a lot of people. I was calling a lot of people because I was getting upset because my dad, he actually said, okay, okay, let me back up. Let me back up because I'm jumping into the story and we can't be doing that. Okay, so how this became a pawn, never in a million years that I thought that I was gonna get my nose pierced. That's just how I rule. That's, I never thought I would get my nose pierced. You don't know, I don't know what God has planned for me in the future, but never in a million years, this never came across my mind. This never, I was like, ooh, should I get pierced my nose? No, this never came up to my mind. This never did. But my mom would come upstairs. She comes upstairs. Keep in mind, she's downstairs. She watches her movies, mind her business. Me and my brother, I kind of like messing with my brother. So like, I'll come in his room when I get bored and I'll mess with him when he's playing with the game and he'll kick me out of his room. And then I walk back in my room. My mom's like, we're going to get your nose pierced. Keep in mind, I'm like, I don't know if my dad has to let me. I was like, I want to, but I didn't want to get in trouble, you feel me? So that was settled. Um, so my mom calls my, well, I don't know if she called him or texted him, either one, she tells him, he calls me. <laughs> so he says, he says, I can get it, but he doesn't like stuff like that on my face. So I have to take care of it or I can't no more. No, yeah, you feel, you know. So I'm doing a good job taking care of it. Actually, I thought, thought it was gonna be like my ears where you do it and you put the Q-tips. Q-tips scared because I feel like it's gonna get around my thing and no. By the way, y'all probably looking at my face. Why is there two holes? There's not two holes. This is actually my mole right here, but and then this is the piercing, which I'm not touching. It says not to touch. So yeah, that's my mole. I have a whole bunch of them on my body. I don't know where they are to be honest with you. I have one up here with my, that's not one, that's a birthmark. But yeah, so what else? Like you could get it, but if you don't take care of it and you don't do this and that, you're taking it out, you know? So my mom comes upstairs. My mom got a piercing too, but I'm not telling you what kind of piercing she got. But yeah, um, she got her piercing. So we're in the car. It's like 11 and I had to get ready at 12.30. So I'm in the, I get dressed, I'm in the shower, I get dressed. So we're in the car now. We get to the tattoo shop in my area and they say I can't get it because I'm not 18. I'm 17, my birthday's in two months. So I got us that. 
and my mom's leaving for deployment. Deployment. She's in the military, so she'll be back in six months, and I'm not about to wait six months. So I was getting upset. She went to go get her piercing because I couldn't go in the tattoo shop. So she went to go get her piercing. I, on the other hand, I started calling a whole bunch of people, and there was no. They kept saying the same thing, but then my mom called three people. <laughs> she got three people and I called eight to 10 people. They all said the same thing. So she called three people, two people said the same thing. And then the one person we had to go out of our, we had to go to another state to go get my nose pierced because where I'm from, where, where I'm from, it's, we can't, you know, we have to wait until you're 18. I'm not, I, I just, I don't know if it's an Aries in me that I can't wait. I just can't. So, so then we're driving an hour away, an hour and four minutes away from where I live to the next state that we had to go to. <laughs> so, so yeah, we did that. Then now we're in the tattoo shop and to another state. Keep in mind, literally, I have so many butterflies in my stomach. I kid you not, I was so scared. And then we had to sign papers and they had to show me that birth certificate and stuff like that. It's just like, you know, to prove that you're 17, you know. And keep in mind, my mom thought if, if you're the parent and you're letting your child get it, you would get it. You know, because if you're like 15 and your parents allow you to get a tattoo, you would think that they would let you, but they don't in the state where I live in. So we're in the tattoo shop and I wanted to record. I was like, well, I, I, I didn't even know. I was sick talking in my head. Like, should I record? Should I record? I was scared because what if I screamed and what is that? What is that? Where go? I feel it. Okay. I don't know what that was. What is that? Oh, okay. But, but then, okay, so I'm sitting in the chair. After we fill the paper up, they had copy it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. And then I'm sitting in the chair and I, I didn't see the needle, but he was like, it's gonna be quick. You're gonna have a tear shed down your eyes. That's what didn't happen. My mom was like, she didn't even have a tear go down her eye. So yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad experience. It was very quick. I was like, I said in my head, I was like, what, this is it? I looked at her like, it's really in my nose. <laughs> so yeah, that was my experience of my little story time. I don't know what I'm gonna name this. It's probably gonna be a story time, but here is my post notification of this person right here. Uh, thank you for being my post notification shout out. Comment down below this, this video right now so you can be my post notification shout out in the next video. And like I always say, show them, don't say it's Wesley. Peace.